What's up guys? This is Mohan and uh, I'm gonna teach you guys something about .NET Framework in this uh, video and uh, I'm sure that by the end of this video you will uh, get at least an idea about what is .NET Framework. Okay, so let's begin. Microsoft Visual Studio is a tool that is introduced by Microsoft uh, with its base foundation .NET Framework where, where we are going to work with. So I'm gonna guide you guys how to download this uh, application software. And just go to this uh, website torrents and uh, you just type Visual Studio and uh, there would be you know you will be getting a lot of links just click on the first one if you click on it you will be re redirected to another page and uh, you see there again you have a uh, menus again you will end up with a many links and you have to choose any one of this i have chose h33t.com so once i click on it again i will be redirected to another page and uh, in this page you will be seeing some stuffs like this all right so what you have to do is you have to click on torrent so once your torrent file is downloaded uh, with you, with the help of your uh, new torrent or something uh, some software you can run this torrent file and uh, you can uh, download it and uh, i would recommend you not to go for a direct download because the size of this file is very big and uh, so let's continue our uh, introduction video what is dotnet framework well uh, there are many languages why must we go to dotnet framework well the main reason for that is interoperable this is the only special feature which allows us uh, which makes this uh, .NET Framework technology so special, you know. Uh, the, what is uh, the exact definition for this interoperable is the ability of application developed in different languages to be able to work together. Um, and what are, if you're not getting any of this, just don't freak out. I will sort it out for you guys. So let's assume uh, there are n number of classes, class one, class two, and class three. And uh, class one is written in uh, C, and class two is written in uh, C++, and class three is written in uh, some other languages such as uh, C sharp. So you can able to develop an application with uh, different programming languages involved in it, and uh, you know at the end of the day you can uh, compile the uh, application and it will run, even though your application is written in many languages. So this is the special feature about uh, .NET Framework and uh, this feature is so called interoperable and uh, yeah okay so let's get down uh, to Microsoft Visual Studio again Microsoft Visual Studio is a tool as I said earlier and uh, it is so called IDE what does this IDE means IDE means it's nothing but integrated development environment where it allows you to uh, write your code and uh, you know you can compile it and you can execute it at the same place okay and so it is called IDE so in dot uh, visual studio allows you to work on uh, many languages such as uh, C++, C, C sharp and uh, visual basics okay and normal IDE such as Dave's C++ and uh, Eclipse for Java, you know, uh, what is the work of the compiler in that? It, it just converts the programming languages into assembly languages. Our amazing uh, Visual Studio 2010 uh, does not convert programming language directly into assembly language. It first converts, uh, you know, uh, some sort of intermediate code uh, such as IL, intermediate languages. This uh, intermediate language is understood by uh, CLR and uh, just before the time of execution, the just JIT compiler, just-in-time compiler, uh, compiles it and it is converted into assembly language. So this is what the actual process our compiler does. Let's, let's just uh, dig deep and uh, I will show what other compilers basically do. Uh, well, here's the source, uh, here's a code. First, our code is sent to a scanner. What does this scanner actually do? This scanner will break up our code into small units or uh, smaller junks, which is so-called tokens, and it will send to a parser. And uh, until or unless your code is break up into a small units, the parser will not understand. 
and you know this uh, parcel will uh, ensure that our code follows a set of uh, you know format something like that uh, for example we have to use semicolon at the end of every line of our program so this uh, parser ensures that uh, everything goes uh, by the rule and if, if it finds out some error then uh, it will just uh, pop it out you know and uh, once uh, parser is done with its job then it will send uh, the process data to AST where it will check for uh, a syntax error and once it ensures that uh, syntax is right then uh, your code will be generated and uh, finally your program will be converted into assembly language only which machine can understand it so this is a basic job of our compiler and uh, i think i have explained you what our what are all the compiling steps that uh, that are done in uh, .NET framework and you know uh, our clr follows a set of common rules that has to be followed by all other languages because you know we are using so many languages uh, so in that case there must be a common rule that has to be followed by all the languages and that common co set of common rules is said to be common language specification and uh, under common language specification uh, there is there are many rules and uh, i have just typed the cts as an uh, example and what what is this CTS? Common type specification. Common type specification is nothing but uh, you know. Uh, let's assume that uh, there is an integer and then uh, double. Uh, you cannot assign a double variable to an integer just because the size of the double variable is big, and you cannot you know dump bigger things into a smaller box. So this uh, CTS takes care that uh, you know uh, it. It will ensure that uh, the bigger size variable is not assigned to the smaller size variable such as int. So uh, apart from the CLR and the CLS, there are main components of .NET framework, Windows Form and the console application and the web forms and web services and the .NET framework base class libraries and CLR. So what does this Windows Form actually mean? Uh, Windows form is nothing but you know uh, our uh, Microsoft Visual Studio it uh, creates a form and uh, it allows you to create some buttons and text boxes where you can uh, get input from the user and you can process it and uh, if you want you can display the output in the same window and uh, what is this console application definitely we are going to work up with this console application on our next uh, tutorial so never mind about it but i will just um, uh, spot out the small difference between a console application and a windows form console application is uh, nothing but you know uh, uh, everything will be done in a command prompt once you write the program and uh, you uh, compile it and uh, once you execute it your program will be running in a command prompt screen cmd command prompt screen uh, will be the one who will be getting uh, input from the user and uh, it will be processing it and uh, your output will be shown in the command prompt and web forms and web services are nothing but you know it uses your uh, default web browser whatever it is maybe internet explorer or uh, mozilla firefox or google chrome whatever it is so this uh, stuff right here is the only thing that is used to create a website in my upcoming videos definitely you will be seeing uh, how you're going to create a website do not worry about that dotnet framework base class libraries what does this actually mean well it holds a set of predefined classes where we can uh, use it up you know uh, to make things less complicated and what is this uh, clr clr converting all your uh, other languages into il as i said you know our clr is the one who converts uh, the pro programming language into intermediate language where our compiler can understand because you know a compiler cannot read uh, different languages at the same time so instead uh, the process has been split since you're using you're going to use many languages in your single application clr will be converting all other languages into an intermediate language which is uh, which which is said as a common language that a compiler can understand so based upon the rules the conversion uh, the translation or whatever it is man it will take place so uh, that's all for an introduction class 
let us begin with the programming stuff in my next video if you don't get any of this what i told you just don't panic it's absolutely fine and uh, if you have any doubts just leave a comment take care guys bye